Hello, hello, hello! Yeah. Greetings, Lee Shelley Yens. Welcome back to another episode, child, of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring <laughs> them! Ah! Yes, I'm your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. This mm -hmm. is you got Dr. Carl in all today, so mm, what you going to do about? And this is my brother, finally he's here, Chai H.T. Introduce yourself, boo. My name is H.T. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Chai, I don't know what type of video. We got some crawfish today. Y'all, thank y'all for watching the video on yesterday. Thank you for all of our Lee Shellians, but your girl not going to be in this one. Because why? My husband here, your boy Carl Jean, didn't want to take ownership and handle it by himself. So I'm about to do my exit. I'm about to exit to the right. Y'all right. know me. We're going to holler at you then. It ain't Bye. No Love y'all. We'll be right back. Okay? Time. And we back. Oh! Boy, here we go. Boy, we're about to do our thing, boy. Ooh, I'm finna get a on. Look at me, boy. I got the street lights on. Street lights. It's the only thing I do. Street lights. Boy, I said the street lights, boy. Ooh. Boy, I got my brother out and out today, boy. You better get a shine on, boy. He been, to, he, he been trying to get on here for the longest. Boy, he finally done drove that white truck over here, boy. Boy, it's all on him. Say, listen. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, world. I'm Lisa's little brother. Mm. That's my big mean sister. <laughs> whatever. 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 But I love my mean wife. Right now, me and Carl are going to talk about some things. Oh, yeah. You understand? What's going on around here? Ooh. Some of these female and these men. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start to say something. Mm-hmm. You understand? Listen. I got a situation. Mm. And I ain't gonna take over the show. Mm. But I'm gonna say this here. This is a handful of real men mm -hmm. out here. Handful. Handful. Oh, nigga, I mean, one hand. Dang, all that so hand. listen, all you independent women mm. that want to put him mm. in the same trials mm. as you put the regulars, men, <laughs> that ain't gonna fly. That ain't gonna fly. Not today, not tomorrow. Ne men got levels too. That's like, right. I didn't understand that. And respect our levels. We got levels. All, we man. know our moral. We know our worth. That's right. You got to respect them too. Boy, you got to respect. Ooh, respect yourself. Listen. When I approach, mm -hmm. I'm not finna put myself below the average. Hmm. Mm. No matter how you feel, or what you think, HT ain't finna do it. I guess y'all heard that. Yeah. HT say he ain't finna go down like that. So bring your A game mm. Mm -hmm. and start handling me. Any kind of way? Any kind of way. Because it ain't gonna happen not today, not tomorrow, or forever. Can I send a shout out to my business? Oh, boy, you HT should. Transportation Services, LLC. Transportation company for years. Moving transport all around the world. All around the world. We get money. Getting money. Getting paid. I hang with my big bro. Fat. Now, one thing else I want to say. Does anybody. Kevin Durant. Does anybody know. Anybody that played for the Nets back in the 80s. Because that's the jersey he got on. 
Mm. 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 He played for Oklahoma. Who played for Oklahoma? Durant? You talking about the jersey you got on? Oh, yes. Oh, boy, y'all want to my shirt, y'all. Well, who, 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 what y'all want to do about Who played for Oklahoma? Oh, the man coming on my shirt, y'all want my shirt. The man come on the phone, y'all go. Bottom up, who play on the Knicks? Bottom up, who play on the Knicks? I got all kinds of shirts, boy. I'm down up from the Knicks to the Denver to everybody. But that don't mean, you know, I like them. But I'm a Rocket fan. Sorry. Why you got on a Rocket jersey? Man, I, I don't think I got one. Now, how you a Rocket fan? I need to get one. You don't have a Rocket jersey. Man, I think I got, man, I got the little ones in there, but I ain't got the big ones. How do I not grow them? Well, we know you're not growing. Tell them all the Rockets fans. <laughs> you put on all that weight. You know you're not well, growing. Well, y'all, hey. So let me tell you, Carl used to be, what is it, one what? 190? 150? 185, 190. Yeah. Now you're about what, 270? 205. Shh. I'm just... I don't think so. But the way the world coming, we all gonna be on the die. Yeah. All this stuff they pulling around right now, we all gonna look like Paso now. Oh, boy, we gonna be so scared, yeah, boy. We ain't gonna be falling now. They gonna say, boy, you too grown to sag. Man, I'm not even though. Yep, we gonna be sag. Man, gonna be below the belt. Boy, boy, she gonna be showing everywhere. Come on, Carl. They gonna be like, pull up your pen. Man, man, pull up my pen. Boy, the bell won't even hold me up. But anyway, y'all, we got a little topic we want to talk about. Uh, most likely, you know, what is the definition of, of a good woman? A good woman. That's a good question. I want y'all to give me a topic, uh, I mean, a feedback on a good woman. Mm. See, me and him getting ready to talk about it. You know, we're going to expose that, you know, because. What you think a good woman is? What I think a good woman is? Mm. A good woman that, a good woman, the definition of a good woman is a woman that's going to love you unconditionally. No matter your flaws, your mistakes, your, your wrong decisions, or how you look, or, you know, but. When you with a woman, and y'all done went through the storms, the hurricanes, and everything that came y'all way, and after everything blew away, she still standing and say, baby, I'm not going nowhere. That's a good woman. And a woman who's going to love you unconditionally, no matter what you done did and how you done did it, what kind of mistake you say, okay, baby, Jesus never said you were going to be perfect. And I should have prepared myself for the mistakes that you're going to make because this is how this world's designed. Men make mistakes. Mm. Women <clears throat> thrive hard on trying to be right and stay on the right track and be righteous. But a man have the cadastrics sometimes to go, you know, you know, he opened up that, that shopping market and, mm. you know, not really with the intention, but that's just a part of a man. And sometimes it takes us to go through things to hit our head on them, get hit in the head, put a nail and a hammer and everything else to wake up and realize that, hey, man, there's only one woman for me. But you have to allow that man to go through something. You have to allow that man to go through the storm. You have to allow that man to backslide and fall mm. a couple of times. Preach. You know what I mean? But if you don't, if you think you got a perfect man and he never did anything wrong, mm. you are wrong. Get ready to get set up. Because pretty soon, well, they got something that look for them perfect men. They got something. Huh? They got something that look for them perfect men. They got something that look for perfection. Where they gonna find them at? Where they gonna find a perfect man at? So let me say this here. Remember, I brought to you a topic. Y'all check this topic out. For all you biblical people, Bible mm -hmm. people. Oh boy, that's my field. Boy. I just have a question. Okay. It's just it's just my just my thought. Go ahead and answer. Go ahead and answer. In the Bible, mm -hmm. God gave people like what? David, whom else? All of them. multiple wives. And would have gave them more, you say. 
Thank you, sir. Did you say that? Huh? David didn't have no. David no. had five wives. David he wouldn't have killed Bathsheba. God said I would have given you more. He need to read more. Yeah. Now check this out. Hold up. That ain't the topic. My yeah. point is that he knew a man was able to handle more than one woman. Now, how many husbands did those women have? They only, only had only one. That one. Only that one. Yes, sir. Because women from way back then, I feel, have been built to stay with, respect, do what is right. That's why they that's why they always be more mature than us. At a young age. You know, they always this and that. Y'all able to handle that. Men are explorers. Masculinity, they got a lot of testosterone. All that. So it's God knew back then men can handle more than one woman. That's why he gave them multiple wives. Yeah. Some so nowadays. Check this out. So what the women are doing nowadays? In new way. Well, you know, just you know, it's out of respect. We, you know, appreciate it. It ain't for you, married man. This ain't shooting no slug. This is the thing. This, this, just, just my thought. Women that came along since they can handle that, be with one man, and put something on this man to make him think in his mind that if he go anywhere else and do anything else, he out of line because he should be like her when she's been built, you understand me, to be with one person. But we try. We give it our best. I wish that. We give it our best. Carl doing a good job because, boy, yeah. my sister, I, I can't curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> System up. But anyway, but you got to let us make it like he said. Yeah. You give us a break, man. Don't be so hold so many grudges. Don't hold on. Just let it go. If you're going to let it go, let it go. I ain't say let it go and bring it up next week, next year. Let it go. If not, you ain't letting it go. I ain't say forget it. <laughs> she need to edit that. <laughs> well, yeah. What you think about that? What's the name? That, that uh, killing going on? They protesting downtown. Yeah. Y'all out there protesting? You know, I look back in the time, back in the day, when they were doing that to us, catching us down. Walking down dark streets and in the wood mm. and hang up and don't nothing ever be said, don't nothing ever happen. Mm. They've been pulling us over in car and doing things to us. With no cameras. With no cameras back in the day. Mm. When nothing happened. Out wide, ain't nothing happened. They've been doing that for decades and decades and decades. Every now and then, it'll pop out the true color. And now look. This time, it popped out one too many times. Mm -hmm. And people are tired of it, you know, because we have our rights now. Mm -hmm. And black life do matter. Definitely in our generation and in our race. Black matter, I mean, black lives do, black matter. Lives do matter. And, and you know, we love our people. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we love everybody. And even the ones who hate us, beat us. Destroy us, lie on us, beat us, and kill us. You know, because the Bible says still love us. Because God has the final rule mm. on everything. He is the final judge on all things. Things that we think that people done got away with, they ain't got away with it, boy. Boy, at the end of death, boy, who? Boy, they gonna be burning like fire. Boy, they gonna be burning out in the stream. Ain't nobody gonna be able to save them. You know? <laughs> Them times is coming. One thing in the Bible that is guaranteed to us, and that is death. And, and that will take its place. 
sometime in your life. You're not going to live forever. You don't know when your time going to come. It can come today, minute, second hour. It don't make a difference. You can drive out there and boom, you're gone. Just like that, man. So I don't live like I'm going to live forever. But every day, God, he wake me up. You see? Boy, I'm going to take it as a blessing. Back to what he was saying. But Jesus, he brought a new law that 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 a man should take one woman as his wife. Ah, speak, sir. Put that ring on her finger. That means last forever. Marriage now, people get married and divorce two weeks later because they decide they done finally done woke up and saw something about you they don't like. But before you marry a person, you're supposed to spend time with them. They're supposed to be your best friend. So that you can learn everything about a person, not just jump it up because you're infatuated because you got a big booty. Or he, he's a handsome man and he got pretty hair. Uh, big arms, uh, however, you know. You have to learn a person, experience a person, go through something with a person so that you can get the understanding, do I really want to deal with? Do I want this to be tied up in my life forever? But am I ready? to be tied up the rest of my life. You have to be ready for it. You know, you have to be ready for it, man. And like they say, you have to have somebody because you can grow to love somebody. You can grow to fall in love with somebody. But it just takes time. And that you have to give each other time. Spend time with one another, go through. And so in that way, when something do happen, you won't burn off. You won't Look down on them, you know? Mm -hmm. And because marriage is serious, no matter what goes on in that marriage, you don't supposed to jump up and run away. You supposed to say, hold up, wait a minute. Let me think about it. Let me you know, you supposed to make things right. Because sometimes when when you don't have the knowledge and the and, and, and the understanding that a man will make mistakes or a woman will make mistakes. You have the tendency of giving up too fast because it's all about you. It ain't about the ring on your finger. It ain't about the commitment you done made. It's all about you. Because for all the things that you have done, Jesus still holding on to you when it should be gone. But he forgive you for no matter what you have done. Jesus perfect. He he forgive you. So you have to learn to forgive one another. We entitled to make crazy mistakes sometimes, man. You know, we are human. Jesus know how it is to be in flesh. That's why he suffered so bad because he was holding all our sin on his back. Because he know how it feel. But when you not biblical and you don't have a relationship with God, man, you gonna make the world in mistakes. Sometimes, that's true. When a man Make a mistake and you burn off and leave him, you only open the door for that woman down the street. Because to get what sometimes learned. mistakes makes a man better. And now she got it. And that man going to be the best man he going to be because he made the simple mistake he was going to make. Remember that. Some mistakes make a man stop in his footstep and say, hey, man, I'm done, man. I'm finna, you know, mm -hmm. I'm finna live my life, be faithful and all. That's what I done. I made a mistake. Boy, them, they, boy, they, boy, look here, man. I'm not going outside my household. Boy, I don't care. I don't care if my wife hair fall out. I don't care if she ain't got no booty. I don't care about anything, but that's my baby. You know, hey, man, ain't, can't no woman out there take her place. That's just the bottom line. I am, I am, I done laid my hat down. And this is where I lay with my wife all the days see, of my life. See, that's the key part right there. Let me you say know? this here. Let me say this here, something to that right there. That's the key part right there. When you lay it down. Yeah. Let me say this here, somebody told me one time. She say, if you always think about me and willing to do everything to make me happy, and I always think about you and do everything to make you happy, how can y'all go wrong? How can we go wrong, she said? That's what Tia told me. Mm. That's right. How can you go wrong? If I'm always trying to please you and you always trying to please me, we can't go wrong. Everybody getting pleased. But check this out, though. Check this out, though. You're right, though. 
see, everything I was saying earlier mm -hmm. was just a thought. Mm -hmm. But don't get it twisted. Man, God, willing to be faithful, whatever it takes may be grown man status. It don't make no difference. I don't play no games like that. Yeah. But a man ain't going to stop doing sh nothing. I don't care how good she look, how bad she look, how good the sex is, how bad it is, how whatever. He ain't going to stop doing whatever you can take care of. You can do whatever you want to do until he ready. Yeah. Until something And happens. like he said earlier, when you lay your head down and you're done with it, and he realized to himself, nothing to do with you. He realized to himself that he ready to chill and he so happened to be with you. Then you he looking at you, you looking at him. Yeah. Cause you got him at the right time. Everybody backslides. On mm -hmm. everything, smoke cigarettes, mm -hmm. going back to the exit, whatever the case may be, people backslide, even in the Bible. Oh, yeah. So, Ooh. even though even you got this good man right ministers, now, man. you know, even though you got this good man right now that doesn't stop with the wood crap, it could be 10 years down the line, he make a mistake. Mm. You got to stay down. Yep. That is the key. Don't be stupid because God gave you five common senses. Five common sense. If anybody can tell me what the five common sense God gave you is, you're on point. This is what they are. Sight. Know what's my touch. Know when you feel what you feel. And what the other two is. Wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge. If somebody's doing something, he or she, over and over and over and over again. At some point, you gotta know your work. You gotta move around. Like you say, dust your feet off and your hands all the time to go. But I didn't say the first time or the second time, whatever your limit is. Cause I had somebody that I was with. She had a limit and we're not together no more. Her limit wasn't. Wasn't too many. She actually gave me more chances than she did not give me anybody else. But she had a limit. No matter how good I came through, on whatever I came through with, she had a limit. And it taught me to be better. And it, it may be for the next one. <laughs> it may not yeah. be for that one. Yeah. But it did make me better though, like he said. But it makes it better. See, this is how you know if God ordained the matter, if God approved it. Because no matter what happened, no matter what happened in that marriage, they gonna go on. If you talk to the old people who've been married like Is 60, go 70 on? years, they'll tell you. The woman will tell you, man, I call crap out of that man. Ooh, that man did everything up under the sun. But that's my husband. I still have, you know, hold on. Because I had the understanding that a man will make mistakes. And what make me Just think can't keep that I'm going to find something better than him. I might go out there and can't find something worse. You know, and, mistakes, and, and, and I got to have a man I in my keep life. Making mistakes. I got to have, but Just this ain't only a man. man. This is my husband. It depends on how he present himself when he make the mistakes. What he put on my table to make me say, well, okay, man, I'm gonna forgive you this time. But a man have to be tired. <laughs> he have to get, he have to grow tired of making them same stupid mistakes. Yeah. If he don't, you can burn off. But if a man really love you, if he's really in love with you, sometimes we have the tendency of making Little mistake, but Barbara, when they get caught up, you be like, okay, baby, I promise, man, I'm, I'm done. She when a man pleads like that, that man love you. That man is willing to do the right thing. Now, I'm not going to tell you that if a big booty girl walk by his eyes, ain't going to. Don't look. 
you know, I like the women like that. I mean, let, let it's the man nothing, look, man. It's like looking at a a, a, a Ferrari, uh, you know, a pretty Ferrari, or, or something like your... that. You know, looking never create anything. Don't hold I, you, you know. <laughs> you can still just, you know. Because on the cool, if you look at your wife or your girl, yeah. when she when a guy he walk by and he all cut up and ripped up, looking good, they gonna look. They ain't gonna look, boy. They, they, Just don't boy, break they your neck. Look like they got Popeye. Don't you break know? your neck. No, nah, <laughs> they're not gonna break their neck because they're around you. But if they with their friend, boy, they go, ooh, ooh, girl, look at that. Ooh, yeah. boy, you looking good. Ooh, girl. But, you know. But one thing I left out when I was telling my little train of thought. All those men, all those wives those men had, they was his wives. Yep. They wasn't his. They wasn't his side pieces. Mm, they they wasn't no wives. girl he met and ran across. He had a, a commitment and promise to God with those women because they was his wives, all of them. So unless you got multiple wives, you shouldn't really mess over your wife. And see, when you married, you should stay with that marriage. Stay with that one person. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, something. It's not worth messing around when you're married for one reason. That living in the house, ooh, that you can't ooh. never satisfy a wife and a girlfriend mm. because pretty soon or later, you the type of guy that put, boy, mm, you put the icing on the button, make the door, wow, ooh, boy, the hell's down like a red mm. mm. But you need to divorce her. Mm. You know it's gonna create problems. Mm. It's just situations in your marriage. If you really love your wife, and see, we go find something that we attend and fall in love with, knowing that, and then come home and try to handle our wife because our feelings is way over here. Why your feelings get over there? Because sometimes you find in another woman what you, what you find. don't find in your wife. Well, your wife need to take care of all those things. Then. And 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 I, sometimes I it can be it can be infatuation. That's that you statement know? I said about and, take care of me all. Think yeah. all about me, and I think all about you. Yeah. I'm talking about whatever you think he may want to go out and do with somebody else, you do it. Mm -hmm. Not to your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Give it all up to your wife or your husband. Well, you do it. And, and and that's it. It ain't no your friends but. Just yeah. give it and do it. And, you know, if it's, you know, healthy, but, you know, healthy. Well, like I, said. I don't care about no big booty woman no more. I don't care about no pretty woman no more. They all got the same thing. Yeah, they all, boy, they all gonna shoot you in the moment. I mean, you know, my wife is the perfect woman for me. That's because that me and her is too much alike. Our birthdays is, is that's how you, when you get that understanding that God gave you that gift, mm -hmm. everything else disappears. And I feel comfortable. I come home, sit in my garage. Oh. Come up in here and mess with her. Well, I'm trying and, you to know, get there. Hey, boy, look I'm here. I'm trying to get there. And at a certain time at night, around about 9 o'clock, I'm coming in the house. Boy, I'm going to lay in the bed with my wife. You know, I'm not out there in the streets. Because when you're in them streets, boy, you're going to see something. Boy, that's going to catch attention. I'm not trying to let nothing get in attention. That's too late. 9 o'clock is too late. About 7.30. No, I come in at 9 o'clock because I got a TV in my garage. And I sit in there watch TV while my wife is watching YouTube on the on on the TV, on the laptop, and on her phone. She has everything <laughs> occupied. So, hey, I got to watch TV Going somewhere. <laughs> nice yeah. meeting y'all. I'll be back. Well, this concludes this episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle show. And we thank y'all for watching and listening. You know, because my brother-in-law has something to say today. Boy, he put it on the table, boy. And I want to hear y'all coming back on whatever he asks y'all. You know, hey. And y'all single women, boy, you poor. Single man, poor, poor, single man, poor, he's single. Boy, he's single, he's ready to mingle. But he's looking for a good one, man. But, I mean, you know, he had a good one. But, you know, he lost it and, you know, hey, that. Close the page. Close the page and, man, he looking like Papa. But it's okay. He's a good one. But. <laughs> but it's all good man hey man i thank y'all for watching man it's been an awesome show man i got to eat me some crowd hang out with my brother-in-law man this 
you know, it just fun time and just kicking and rolling. Well, that's what we do. So, till next time. Peace. Peace. Be with you. Boy. All right. <laughs>